My name is Damon Bennett, and welcome to CFB Trenton. I recently met the Colonel of uh, Canadian Air Force Base Trenton uh, here in Ontario, Canada, and he's asked me to do a special project for him. I think everyone knows that I'm a huge supporter of our of our military, of our people that are in the military, and uh, you know what they do for a living is severely impressive. And I'd like to give back a little bit, and I've always tried to find a way to give back, and this might be my opportunity. So it'll be interesting to talk to him today and see what he has to say. Hello, David. Sir, how are you? Good, how are you? A beautiful day. Gorgeous, isn't it? You getting up the air today or? No, no. No, no? no I'm up this whole day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. Well, I just thought we'd start here and actually just start discussing exactly what we want to do with this pub. Yeah, so we're actually standing on a, a pretty special place for the wing. So, you know, the parade square is always the traditional center, the heart of any military establishment because it's where the parades happen, you know, okay. the ceremonial events. So what you've got is all these old white buildings all around us that are the, they're the original buildings from pre-war. You've got the officer's mess yep. right there. And then over on the other side, you've got the warrant officers and sergeants and the junior ranks mess. And the way these things worked is, this is where they went at the end of the day when their day was done and you know, and it allowed them to separate. Right. Because there's those distinctions between the officers, the warrant officers, sergeants, and the junior ranks. Because they all had to work together during right. the day. But literally at the end of the day, they'd go into their respective messes and they could, they could decompress and they could, be themselves. They could be themselves yeah. without having to worry about the boss being around rank. and and all yeah. and rank. You know, yeah. it became a non-issue, and it, it allowed us to have that that social aspect right. to it. But one thing that we're missing here, and we we had one for a long time, was a place where everyone could go and socialize together as a wing. So we've got some spaces right now, but they're kind of they're impromptu or they're right. ad hoc, you know, and they're not that great. So this is where that final piece, you know, the all ranks pub comes in, and that we can recreate that space that we would have had you know, way back when, and, it and that so we lost. it makes so much sense that you would want to talk to these yeah, kids after you're training them. So you can actually see how dated this bar is. First of all, the room just doesn't work anymore. The bar itself is really small. You can maybe get about five, six people up at that bar at once. You've seen when people conglomerate here to have a drink, you know, you're getting 40 to, to 100 people in a room at once. So you want to be able to accommodate them. You also have paneling coming off the walls. The baseboard is starting to come off. The paint is aged. There's damage on the walls. Even the brass rail on the existing bar is disgustingly filthy. These are all small things in the scheme of it, but at some point this needed an upgrade and it's right now. This Central Flying School here in Trenton was responsible for making sure they were teaching everything the right way. Wow. So it was, it was the heart of the BCATP. And after the war, it was recognized that, you know, it was a pretty important place. So the governments of the UK, Australia, and New Zealand yeah. made a presentation to Canada that came here to Trenton, and it's the BCATP Memorial Gates. And they were presented to Canada on behalf of everything that Canada had done in the BCATP. And the, the symbolism of the gates is really, really important because the gates are, they're to represent the gates of freedom. Wow. So the way it worked was once you're inside the gates, yeah. well, that represents freedom. And because the parade square is where they got their wings and where they yep. graduated, well, the, the theory, the notion is, is they marched out through the gates away from freedom to defend against tyranny and injustice and all these things that were going on in the world. So that is the symbolism of the gates. They represent the gates of freedom. Picture. Oh my yeah. God, that is incredible. And these are still the original gates. These are the original gates. And now they're actually a designated, they're a national historic site now. Wow. So of course we can't do anything other than upgrade and, and maintain right. them, but yeah. And actually it looks like they need a little TLC. What if we incorporated something like this within the pub, Colin? Yeah, I think that'd be a great idea. You've given me a hell of a lot to think about. It looks like I'm going to be staring at these gates for probably a couple hours this morning, Colin. Well, I will not stand here with you because I have work to <laughs> okay. do. Okay. All right. Gates Unlike of some of us, we, yes. We, yeah. <laughs> you have a base to run. Thank I have a base. you for meeting me. Oh, thanks I appreciate a million, David. It. Yeah, we'll yeah. See you in the next couple of days? Absolutely. Okay, if you get Cheers. up in the air, give me a little honk. I'll do that for you. All right. <laughs> thanks, Cheers. Colin. See you guys. So we have to start things a little backwards here because the base is still using the space right up until the day we have to renovate it. So we have Greg here today. He's gonna actually start on all the floors. He's getting all the vinyl planking down right from the far room to the left of the space that we're not renovating right up into our space. So he'll be doing that for a few days, but the base is also coming in to touch up the walls with some plaster and get them painted 
because in the next couple of days, they have a couple of mess dinners. They have some people coming in that are gonna see the space. As I said, they're gonna use this room right up until the day we renovate. Oh my God, look at the floor. It looks fantastic. Much better, oh. much better than before. Wow, actually I'm very impressed. I couldn't really tell when it was just a bit down there, but once they have the flooring right through, oh wow, it's gonna, it's gonna really match that bar. So they did the bar nice, the layout's perfect. Just wanna make sure, can you hold it on that side, Tanner? Yes. Yeah. Just wanna make sure that they did the, the dimensions properly here. So perfectly, they have the 10 feet. Oh, and I have to remember, this is where the Colonel sits. He picked it himself. On that side? Yep. So right here, he wants it right on the corner, I think because he needs to see all access all points. <laughs> hey guys! Oh, hi, how are you, sir? Good to see you, Damon. Good to see you. Seriously. How are you, buddy? How are you, you Shannon? Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, young lady. <laughs> this is great. All work stops when you get here. Yeah. So. I know it's perfect. <laughs> perfect. Good, I shouldn't hey. say that. You'll never show up. So remember, my place here. Oh, Darcy's we got here. <laughs> All right. Is that where Darcy goes? Oh, I get here, actually. Well, <laughs> let me just see, Darcy. I need about, I need about four feet. 18 inches. So, okay. 18. Wow. You're a <laughs> kind man. A very kind man. Yeah. So, what is the significance of this? I, I know it's uh, representative of Eight Wing. Well, actually, it's representative of the RCF. Oh, it's the RCF. So if you okay. look at, uh, well, yeah, yeah. If you, if you look, look at, at, I can't. If you look different. at the cap badge on the Air Ops cap badge, it's the same thing in the center. It's the eagle. Oh, okay. So it is the symbol of the Air Force. So that's why they've put it down here. So you'll see that in all of the uh, all of the official badges and heraldry for the Royal Canadian Air Force is that eagle. Wow. So this is significant. Yeah. Yeah, it's very significant. Yeah, okay. Cool. So yeah, we, anything we can do to keep that would be awesome. Can I come up with some ideas with some Absolutely. of my with my guys? Okay. Your boots. Okay. Yep. Yep. Colin and I, when we first started talking, even though it was over a couple of beers, we were not drunk by any means, but we've had a couple of beers and just him talking about history, his passion for this base. You got to remember, Colin came onto this base a year ago. He's got another year left on his term before he goes. So it's not like he's going to be here for years enjoying any of the, of the ideas that he's been implementing on this base. It's for the next generation. So is he a special guy? Absolutely. Do I want to know him after this project is over? Absolutely. He's one of those special people. We are day one on the pub. We're ready to go. We've been waiting a long time for this. Get the crew going. Ready to start. Oh, oh, oh. 